China is buying up U.S. farmland. And because of the recent tensions between the United States and China, should we be worried? Well, we're going to talk about that in today's video. Currently, China owns U.S. farmland near the Laughlin Air Force Base in Texas. It's approximately 130,000 acres worth of land, but it actually doesn't stop there. They also own 370 acres of land just 16 miles away from the Grand uh, Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota, which is used for both air and space operations. Now, even though the United States doesn't know the exact purpose behind some of these purchases, we continue to allow outside countries to purchase U.S. farmland. There's no law against it. But let me ask you this. After that Chinese spy balloon was caught traveling across the United States and then shot down, do you think there should be more security when it comes to allowing outside investors to purchase U.S. farmland, especially that close to sensitive military operations? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, now that I told you, you know, what is owned by China, and again, this is just part of it, let me give you an idea of who owns about 35.2 million acres of farmland here in the United States. We know Canada owns roughly 31% of that 35.2 million acres of land, but it is mostly forest land. The Netherlands owns about 12%, Italy owns 7%, the United Kingdom, they own about 6%, and Germany also owns about 6%. Then there's other countries like France, Denmark, Mexico, Switzerland, Portugal, and Japan. They all own land here in the United States as well. And then we have China. How much land does China own? Well, China doesn't own much U.S. farmland. Actually, China owns less than 1% of all foreign U.S. farmland. But according to a White House official, uh, or actually according to multiple White House officials going back multiple administrations, it is not about the amount of U.S. farmland that China is buying, but where it is located and why is China buying U.S. farmland? That's the big question. Now, one lawmaker recently said this, China is going to continue stepping up their espionage activities to see how far they can go. And the fact that they are doing so near sensitive military facilities is what is most alarming. Now, something else that is also alarming is that Chinese companies could alter our food. If they are uh, buying up U.S. farmland for production, guess what? If they sell it back to us, that's a problem especially if they're altering our food. For example, when the Fufeng Group purchased the 370 uh, acres, here it is right here, when they purchased this, okay, they said it was for a milling plant. Now, you think about that and just wonder, what could they do? What could they do if they wanted to alter our food? Well, they could do just about anything. Because the Fufeng Group, uh, they're the largest privately owned flavor enhancer company in mainland China. They also produce starch, uh, sugar um, substitutes, and fertilizer. Yes, fertilizer. Now, if you remember, uh, I did a video uh, just this past week, and I talked about this. And I talked about how fertilizer has been questioned over the past year for causing harm to our crops and our egg production because when we are fertilizing uh you know different you know pieces of land right and we are trying to for example um you know chicken feed let's say we're producing chicken feed well guess what if chickens don't like that chicken feed they don't eat it and if you don't eat it you don't produce eggs well we are currently seeing an egg shortage and many people that i've talked to that have their own uh their own homestead that they they uh, they produce their own eggs they they raise their own chickens right them and a few smaller farms have all said the same thing that the chicken feed has changed they won't buy commercial chicken feed they just won't because it doesn't produce the eggs that they need but 
is this something that we should be blaming China for? I can tell you right, or is this a, just a coincidence? But here's what I can tell you. As of right now, China just doesn't own enough land to uh, where I would say, you know what? It's probably China. China's the, uh, one of the main reasons why we have a shortage. I can't say that because, again, China owns less than 1% of U.S. of US uh, farmland based off that 35.2 uh, million acres. But that's just what's owned by outside investors, not people here in the United States. Again, keep that in mind. China owns and controls almost 192,000 acres of U.S. farmland. But it's due to the tensions between the United States and China just recently that many lawmakers, including several governors, are urging Congress to pass legislation immediately to block Chinese companies from purchasing any more land here in the United States. Now, I do want to ask you this, though. Are you a little bit more concerned now than you were before, knowing that China does own... Uh, you know, 192,000 acres of U.S. farmland. They own property near sensitive military facilities. Again, an Air Force base, right, it, it, 16 miles away. Again, look at this. This right here is the Grand Forks Air Force Base right here, okay? About 16 miles away is this piece of property here in North Dakota. This is, was purchased by the Fufeng Group, okay? Now, they purchased this for, I believe, $2.5, $2.6 million, right? It doesn't matter how much they paid for it. If It doesn't mean it was a good deal. If, if they purchased this for an outside reason, just because of the location to the Air Force Base, they could have paid 10 times that, and it would have been worth it for them. So, here's one thing I just want to say. Right now... It is going to be very difficult to see lawmakers pass a bill that is going to block China or any outside investor from purchasing U.S. farmland. And I say this because of the tensions. The tensions are already high. If the United States decides to do something like this and increase the tensions, it's going to make things even worse. Again, China is not happy that the United States decided to shoot down an unmanned uh, you know, balloon, right? That according to China, it just drifted off course, way off course. So we're going to see what happens. But what I can tell you is the, these, these issues aren't over. According to multiple White House officials just recently, these issues are going to continue. We are going to, well, for one, we have a little bit of a, a heightened uh, security right now just because of what has transpired over the past you know, week or so. So again, as soon as I get more information as to what is going on and why we continue to see issues between the United States and China, why things just continue to build and build and build, well, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends and family as well over on Facebook so they too know what is going on.